Welcome to Brick Science. Today we're going to build a Lego water flavor dispenser, which is automatic and uses no motors. Let's do it. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today we're going to be building a Lego water flavor machine. It's going to be super easy. I just want to introduce you to something pretty cool real quick because this is kind of a new feature that I've added to the Brick Science set. Here you can see the countdown clock. This clock will start the moment I start building and end as soon as I'm finished with the project. And this is a new thing to kind of show you guys how I build, how long it actually takes me to make like a video. Just to kind of give you something to go off of so you know that, hey, I can do this at home in however, however much time this takes. All right, I'm, let's just start building. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna need is a base plate and I'll show you the idea. All right, so we have a cup and we have this. This is a water flavor and this is just a certain brand, not sponsored. But what I'm gonna do is essentially make a machine that when you push the cup in, so if you push the cup towards my hand, the top of my hand, if the fulcrum point is right here, fulcrum point is just where it turns, push it down here, then it's gonna hinge like this. So essentially we're gonna squeeze this until it does that into the drink. Gonna be super easy and self-powered, no motors, nothing super complicated needed. So we're gonna start it off with a, let's go 16 by 16. So the cup goes right here. It's actually perfect size. So let's put that like that. I wanna build up the back panel first. So just take the cup out and we'll build a wall as tall as the cup so we can put the stand on top of it. All right, so here's what we got so far. All we got is a wall, a base plate, a bunch of tiles, and then places to put two pillars. And the wall is just slightly taller than this cup, which is perfect. Uh, any other cups kind of sucks to be them. So now we need to figure out where the fulcrum point is. So in the original design, the fulcrum point is supposed to be closest towards the, the dropper. That goes up there. So we want the fulcrum as close to that as possible. So we have to put minimal force on the lever <laughs> in order for the fulcrum to push the squeezer. So what we're going to do now, we're going to build up two pillars with white here, put a little square around it, and then just simply work on the mechanism for the inside that will make the squeezer squeeze. Also guys, fun fact, if you don't like the look of the green, just take some white plates like that and then you can put in some, some bricks or whatever you want on the sides to make that green disappear and make it look a little more pleasing to the eye or whatever. So there's a lot of first instinct going on here because you may notice in some of my other videos there's pieces all over the table. It's really because with this project I haven't had to like majorly design anything where it fails and you have to redesign it. So essentially the goal is to just design it right the first time, hopefully like this, otherwise you have to take it apart and that's how a bunch of pieces get on the table because I'm too lazy to put them back where they go. But anyway, that's called design with a period at the end, design period. Now that all matches up, we just need to make a thingy. Crap. See guys, 20 minutes in, we're almost done. All right, so you just wanna make a frame out of these pieces, or any pieces really, just a frame that will work on the top here. Grab another two by six plate, take the two by six plate and put it on top. Wow. Us geniuses, we use things like, I'm not a genius, I don't know. Uh, I, I know what a, a quantum physicist is. And clearly I am not one. <laughs> all right, now that we're at this stage, all we have to do is build a squisher because we're gonna take the bottle, we're going to squish it so it goes into the cup. Put like a sound effect there, like water, like whoosh. All right, so how do we hold this? The nice thing about this, there's not much nice about this. It does have this cap that goes out to the side. See, what we need is like, we need to use the fact that it's smaller on one end and bigger at the other to our advantage and build a case for it to hold right in there like that. So let's start by... All right, it is time for today's super special shout out special. Today's special shout out is Luke and Joshua. Thank you guys for being a subscriber and watching my videos. You guys rock and you know who you are. Thank you guys. If you guys wanna get a super shout out, make sure that you subscribe and comment down below super shout out squad or SSS. Super shout out squad. All right, so now that we have that, I'm going to put in a piece like this piece here. This is a bracket, so I'm gonna take this bracket and a a couple tiles of whatever shape, whatever color. Without the tiles, that might just be enough room. That's good like that. So it sits in and it works good. So now any pressure we put on here will essentially make the juices work. Okay, let's call that good. And then that stays in there like that. So anything we put, anytime we push on this side, let me just show you what the lever is gonna do. If I just give it a little push, 
We also need to stabilitate. Stabilitate. Is that a word? I don't know. All right, guys, watch. We push the back with the lever. I think I know what we need. I think I know what we need. Okay, we need this here. Put this in here. And then that'll provide pressure right there, which in theory, there we go. So what we did is we just took the pressure that was being evenly distributed by this wall, and we just added a little point in there. Because when you squeeze this, you don't squeeze it like this. I mean, you could if you wanted to. But in this case, we want it to be as easy as possible for the lever, so you don't have to put much pressure. So you just push this like this, and it will go. All right, so to make the fulcrum work, uh, we just need to use some simple Technic pieces. If you don't have these at home, no worries. I'm just going to take this and grab those Technic pins, put them together. All right, so this will go down here like so, and put that there. <laughs> All right, so this goes in here like this. So, okay, so now it's like this. So if we put something there, put the fulcrum point here, make a little pr pressure right here, and it goes So that's pretty simple. So we'll just put the fulcrum point, just do that, and that. So I just snap these two Technic pieces on it like so and then we can put them into the design. All right, now we just need a little piece like, now we just need something that will make sure all the pressure is in one area, like something like that, uh, but better, because that probably won't work very well. Okay, now we just have to certify the crap out of this thing, so that as soon as this thing gets empty, because the emptier that this thing gets, the harder it's going to be to squeeze it out, right? This is like 2020. <laughs> so what we can actually do is we can actually probably, as soon as this gets emptier, we just keep adding more. Yes, so that'd be a good system. That'd be a really good system if you just, if you just open it up, take out this piece, and just add another plate on this. As soon as this thing gets a little more empty, and you can't push it down as easy, you just add that, and so it'll it'll be like you get close together, it'll get emptier, so you can push them closer and closer together, and that'll. Hopefully work pretty well. Okay, let's just finish this thing up. I mean, not much left to do. All right, guys, here we go. Let's test this out with a clean cup because this is really nasty. Hey guys, the easy way to use this is just to take this, you ready? Ron Revelle, you just put this in and you just push down and it dispenses the perfect amount, depending on how long you put it in, <laughs> of drink sweetener. What we also need is a little stir stick. A uh, little stir stick, we'll uh, just keep that in here. And you say, oh, it needs a little more. So you go back in again. And then you have a little more. Get the stir stick. <laughs> That's good. So you go back in again. And you say, oh, it needs a little more. And then you have a little more. <coughs> okay, probably got a little too much in there. Why don't you guys know, don't use that much. It's not good. Oh, and I mean, stop the timer. All right, guys, this approximately took us one hour to build. Super simple, a lot of pieces that you might already have at home if you want to make this. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future any of our future videos. Uh, <laughs> I hate myself. Guys, I really appreciate you watching all the way through the end because you got to this point in the video. And that's how you build a super easy drink squirt thingy. And as you can see, you just put it in and it dispenses. So make sure you guys like and comment down below what you want me to make next, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then. And that's how a simple invention can change the world. Now, back to your regular programming. They're programming us?